Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to make root beer and cream soda. And you can pick these up wherever you can buy homebrew. And uh, sometimes they have them in Walmart. So I thought this would be a great thing to have on your shelves for your food storage. Because who doesn't want, you know, to enjoy a cup of root beer or cream soda or sarsaparilla or they've got cherry, strawberry, cola, just about anything you can think of. So you can also make this with, uh, what do they call it? I don't use that stuff, but uh, um, you can also make this with honey, which is, I'll do one of these with honey, and you can also do low calorie. The next time I make this, I will do it with, uh, next year, I'll do it with my stevia. So we're going to take six ounces of warm water. I think I have eight ounces here. Let me dump some of it out. Six ounces of warm water and one eighth teaspoon of yeast. And you don't have to have a special yeast. You can use uh, Fleshman's or any of those. Eighth of a teaspoon. And you're going to let that activate. Let it sit for about five minutes. I like to stir mine up. Get it off the sides. And while it's doing that, we're going to go ahead and get our sugars ready. We're going to need two and a quarter cups of sugars. which is one and eighth cup in each bottle. And an eighth. Do I even have a quarter cup? I need to buy some new ones. This is a half a cup, so I'm going to divide it into fourths. Okay. One and an eighth. And then we're going to use one tablespoon of extract, so it's a little more than a teaspoon and a half. So let's make the cream soda first. No, I think I'll make the root beer with the sugar, because we all know what root beer tastes like. bit. Alright. Ooh, smells like root beer already. Good old extract. And I'm messy. If you don't know that about me already, you know that now. I'm always messy. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to do the honey recipe. Honey is liquid, so I'm going to use a liquid measure for my honey. And I'm not going to use oil because I don't want any oil in my soda. A spatula here. To... Did I put it in the cream soda? Oh, I did. I put root beer in the cream soda. So my C's are going to be root beer and my R's are going to be cream. See, silly me. Should have marked it after I was done. Okay, my honey has crystallized, so I'm going to warm it up in the microwave. Make sure before you fill it all the way up that you shake it up and get all the sugars mixed in. And then you're going to fill it up between one and two inches to the top. I already went and tasted them because you're supposed to taste them to see if you need to add any of the extract to it. These two here are the honey and these two here are the sugar. And I'm sure you can notice, look at the foam already on the honey. Not near as much on the sugar. 
but the sugared soda tastes just like store-bought without carbonation, like a flat soda. The two with the honey have a little different taste. We'll see when it's done if there's any difference. Now what they say to do from here is you're supposed to, after you've mixed them real well, lay them on their side and make sure they don't leak. And you're going to let them set for four to seven days. And the way you tell if they're done is by the firmness of the bottle. As you can see, I can squish it. By the time this is done, I shouldn't be able to squish that. You keep it in a cool place in the 70s, but not cold, for four to seven days. And we'll come back and we'll show you what it looks like in four days. Okay, it's been four days. The bottles are nice and hard. This one... It uh, loosened its cap and blew out. But, as you can see, it's still hard. So let's start with the cream soda. As you hear, it's carbonated. And this is the sugar one. Beautiful. And this is the honey one. Whoop. Give it a second to settle down. Just like a real soda. Let me go ahead and start the um, cola ones. It's going to take a while. Okay, that one wasn't too bad, and that was the honey one. Let's try the sugar one. That one wasn't too bad either. Whoop. So, let's go back to the honey. Whoosh. That one's really strong. Look at the bubbles. Can you see them? <laughs> Still. We're just about there. Okay. Look at that. Bubbling right over. Can you see that? Look at that. Alright, let's pour some. Much nicer head. Wash my hands because I got soda on them. Alright. Sugar cream soda. Could have used a little more flavor. It's very light cream soda taste. I would probably double it to get that flavor that tastes just like in the soda pop. And let's try with the honey. You can definitely smell the honey. It uh, enhances the cream soda taste. So it's a little stronger in cream soda taste. I would still double it, I think, on the flavor. But it definitely has a honey flavor. So let's try the cola. Okay, it's been four days. The bottles are nice and hard. This one, 
it uh, loosened its cap and blew out. But, as you can see, it's still hard. So let's start with the cream soda. As you hear, it's carbonated. And this is the sugar one. Beautiful. And this is the honey one. Whoop. Give it a second to settle down. Just like a real soda. Let me go ahead and start the um, cola ones. It's going to take a while. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. And that was the honey one. Let's try the sugar one. That one wasn't too bad either. Whoop. So, let's go back to the honey bush. That one's really strong. Look at the bubbles. Can you see them? <laughs> Still. There we go. I think we're just about there. Okay, look at that, bubbling right over. Can you see that? Look at that. All right, let's pour some. Much nicer head. Wash my hands because I got soda on them. All right, sugar, cream soda. Could have used a little more flavor. It's very light cream soda taste. I would probably double it to get that flavor that tastes just like in the soda pop. And let's try with the honey. You can definitely smell the honey. It uh, enhances the cream soda taste, so it's a little stronger in cream soda taste. I would still double it, I think, on the flavor, but it definitely has a honey flavor. So let's try the cola. All right, I just rinsed it up a little bit. This is the honey cola. Not near as much fizz as the uh, cream soda, which would tell me it probably needs a little more yeast in the cream. So an eighth of a teaspoon was too little. Whoop. And the sugar one is again blowing over here. The other one was the honey. So I might have gotten more yeast in this one than in the other bottle. About the same amount of lasting head. So let's try the sugar one first. Definitely tastes like cola. Probably would say It tastes pretty good. I like the one with the sugar. 
Let's try the one with the honey. Smells more like cola. Much richer. I think maybe more extract in both. And either one would taste just like cola. Um, you can use less extract, I think, if you use the honey. Because the honey is really increasing the flavor. If I were to make this again, I would make the cream soda with the sugar. Because the honey flavor is not what I think about when I think of cream soda. And I would make the cola with the honey. Because it really brings that taste out that you have in cola. I think this was a success. And... Uh, I think I'm definitely going to store these on my shelves. Let me. You can find these in your beer making supply stores. They're from the homebrew. I really like them. Each one of these makes four gallons. Probably three gallons is what I would say. And uh, I love them. I'm going to stock these on my shelves for that special treat in case of SHTF. Hope you give them a try, and I'll try them next year with stevia when I can harvest a good amount. Blessings.